Now, Heartland Sports with Luke Randall. Good evening, everyone. Breaking news, the 150th Kentucky Derby just wrapping up. A photo finish to decide the winner, possibly the closest Derby finish ever. We don't have any photos or videos just in yet. We're going to show them at 10 tonight, but it's Mystic Dan, 18 to 1 odds. The horse wins by maybe literally just a nose. Tune in tonight. It was an incredible photo finish, and we cannot wait to show you the replay. Okay, districts for high school track and field. Notre Dame hosting two classes today and a lot of track and field action, mostly in the afternoon. It's track events, the 200, the 800 dominating much of the afternoon. Plenty of schools from around the heartland competing. A lot of good action in those 200 meter heats. You can see one of them there, won by an athlete from New Madrid County Central. Hey, talk about the 4x800. The Haytai boys, they ran away with it. They spoke afterwards about their lightning fast start. Yeah, the boys in the first lap. Yeah, he gapped them. He gave us a big gap. Yeah. He gave us a big gap. You know, and you know, he's a hard runner too, buddy. Yeah. Set the 4x800 alight. And then they were getting ready for the 4x400. They spoke highly of their coach, who's really worked them hard all season. Overall, another great district championship. Now, college softball, Murray State and SIU. Pretty competitive game. The Salukis get the second out in the bottom of the seventh here. This is a really strong SIU squad, and they wrap it up right here. SIU, hey, now they are 38 and 9 on the year with another win today. They already won the series. Now they get the chance to sweep Murray State tomorrow. Over to the OVC, Simo and UT Martin. A three run home run right here by Kat Sackett. No stream of the game, but thanks to a viewer for sending us a lot of great footage right here. Here's the home run again. And now the Red Hawks would take and hold that lead for much of the game, grabbing a few more outs along the way. A pretty impressive one right here. And then a strikeout to end it. Red Hawks win their first game of the day. We've got more sports for you later tonight.